Hey, welcome to Horsley Retirement Empire. Just now uh, getting on the water at Crooked River. Got my bait from Mark down at uh, the bait shop. Beautiful day. Sure wish Chris didn't uh, have uh, sickness. He'd be out there with me, but he's probably going to watch my video and just be mad. So more to come. Thanks for watching. Finally got something. Uh oh Okay. Talk to my thing. Hey, might be a keeper. No, I don't know. It is a trout. It's a baby. But not a keeper trout. It's a good sign, though. It's a good sign. Maybe the trout are going to start moving in. Got something. Ooh, it's a little bit bigger, whatever it is. I mean, are you talking to me or the GoPro? I'm never going to be talking to you. I'm talking to the GoPro. Okay. Really? I'm not sorry. How big is it? I don't think it's going to be big enough to keep. Okay. He's about nine and a half, ten inches, but you can't get any meat off of him when they're this small. Hey, buddy. Your lucky day. Kind of. Maybe not. Ooh, that might have some. That might be big enough to keep. I don't know what that is. It's nice size. Could be a big old sheep head to him. Could be. Is it big in? Yeah, he is. <sighs> yes! That was a big old sheep's head. Oh, he pooped on my bag. Ooh! Got a pair of pliers somewhere. Try and take it out of your mouth. Gotta hold still. Oh my gosh. There, just broke it off. There he is. Monster. Monster sheep type. It's a small one, I think. Chow. The trout. He might be 14. <clears throat> Maybe. Let's hope so. Look. 
17 and three quarters of an inch. Say goodbye. Oh well. You almost made the cut. Tide's coming in. So are the fish. So uh, maybe I'll get some bigger ones coming here shortly. Birds are singing. Can't beat it. It's a gorgeous day. Catching some fish. LG, life is good. Fish with two poles. That might be a big one. It's always a good practice to not pay attention. Somebody wants some company anyway. Lonely, lonely. Fish, there you Making progress. Okay. Tell you what, when they're biting, they gotta get them out. Get them out there quite, or real quick. They usually come in schools. And it is Thursday, so it's a school day. There he is. What I tell you? I mean, that took all but 30 seconds. Woo! Another big one. Which was really good because I had zero fish in my freezer. measuring but I'm pretty sure he's already 14 and a half. Yep. Same size as the other guy, 14 and a half. Back out there. So 
was like, there's a school. School in session. I catch a little just hang there and if I catch a little fish I'll throw it your way all right I'm, I'm tell you what I'm just getting crowded by all these fishermen coming earlier I had a guy come in and cut right cut right in front of me fish right where my bobber was fishing so I moved to the other side of my where I'm fishing and then guess what ten minutes later he leaves so now I'm back to where I wanted to fish and uh, catching some fish. But now I got this big guy, this uh, big pelican. He wants to fish over here. So hopefully I catch him a small fish and uh, so he can have something to eat. I mean, I don't think he's starving by any means. He's just giving me those sad eyes, those pelican sad eyes. Time for some sheephead. I think I got a trout. Yep. Got another trout instead. That's okay. I think he's small, but I'm going to measure him anyway. Thirteen and a half. That's okay. Caught him in some deeper water, though. Now I'm going to try fish deep by these poles. Find me some live bait. There we go. Yeah. Pointing towards the sky. Another one. Not big enough to keep though. Mm 
Now that's a small trout. Yep. What I did, Jim, is I put a uh, split shot and a leader and just a hook and just float it down. It's, I mean, that worked twice already. Nope. No bait either? Just a, uh, yeah. No bait, Paul? No, I got bait. And just let it, just throw it to the rocks and just let it slide down. Well, I had a pretty successful day. I think I think I caught uh, maybe nine, about eight trout, eight trout, two sheephead. So I'm gonna clean, uh, I think I have three trout that I'm cleaning in that big sheephead. It's my wife, Tony, loves sheephead. So, uh, and that's a big one. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean them here at the state park. And thanks for watching, it was a pretty good day. Sure wish Chris could come out with me, but uh, you know, I understand he's sick. He was sick yesterday, so uh, yeah. But thank goodness we were outside and uh, we didn't really get that close, except for in the truck for half an hour. But uh, maybe I won't catch what he has. It's a secret. Thanks for watching. And remember, subscribe. I need some subscribers. Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs sideways, whatever you want to do. So, subscribe. Thank you very much.